what are the benefits or we can say that advantages of biotechnology. So here now, there are four benefits of biotechnology is there. So we can say that because of biotechnology, here we can say that yield of crops can be increased. Yield means the production of crops can be increased per hectare of land. Hectare means a certain area of land. So in a hectare of land or a certain area of land, production of the crops can be or yield of crops can be increased because of biotechnology. Second one, we can be able to minimize the expenses on disease control. Why? Because, because of the help of biotechnology, disease resistant varieties of crops developed. So because of disease, because of bio, biotechnology, disease resistant varieties of crops developed. As a result of it, there occurred minimization in the expenses on disease control. Next advantage of biotechnology that is increase in the production of fruits per annum. In a year, large number of fruits can be produced. Why? Because there, because of the help of biotechnology, development of fast fruit growing varieties are developed. Here fruit setting means a fruit growing varieties are developed. Fast fruit growing Varieties of plants developed because of biotechnology. As a result of it, per annum, large number of fruits can be produced from a plant. Now, because of biotechnology, we can say that development of disease, development of stress resistant varieties of plants developed. Because of biotechnology, stress resistant varieties of plants as well as crops developed. Now, as a result of it, crop plants, we can say rice plant, wheat plant, etc. They can withstand, even if there is high temperature, then flood, even we can say some changes in the fertility of the soil. So, as a result of it, production of crops increased. Why? Because even if there is so much temperature problem or water problem, or we can say fertility of the soil, it is not remain constant. Even then, such a stress resistant varieties of plants could be produced because of biotechnology. There, no problem is occurring in the production of crops. So here now, different or benefits of or advantages of biotechnology in four different ways we studied. First one, what is there? Increase in the yield of crops per hectare of land is possible because of the help of biotechnology. Second, because of biotechnology, minimization of expenses on disease control is possible because of the production of disease resistant varieties of plants. Then, per annum, large quantities of fruits production is possible because of fast growing, because of the production or development of fast fruit growing varieties of plants developed because of biotechnology. Because of biotechnology, we can say that stress resistant varieties of plants developed. As a result of it, even if there is high temperature or uh, high temperature or we can say that so much flood or we can say there so much changes in the fertility of the soil, even then no problem is occurring in the production of yield by the help of crop plants. This is occurred because of the production of disease or we can say stress resistant varieties of plants. Because of the help of stress resistant varieties of plants happened because of biotechnology. As a result of it, we can say that they can withstand high temperature, even water stress. Water stress means a flood. As well as we can say some changes occurring in the fertility of the soil.
what are the various commercial applications of biotechnology there are different uses of biotechnology in industries which are they first one crop biotechnology second one animal husbandry third one human health fourth industrial products and white technology fifth one environment and biotechnology sixth one food biotechnology seventh one dna finger printing now first crop biotechnology because of crop biotechnology so much progress is happened in the production of crops as a result of crop biology crop biotechnology three different things are producing first one we can say that hybrid seeds what are hybrid seeds how hybrid seeds are making genes of two different crops want to recombine as a result of it hybrid crops are producing or hybrid seeds are producing so hybrid seeds are producing how by joining the genes of two different crops now this combining work joining work how it is taking place what is the term recombined recombined means genetic materials we can say that genes or chromosomes we can say are exchanged between two different genetic materials genes are exchanged between two different chromosomes as a result of it we will get hybrid seeds now genetically modified crops how genetically modified crops can be made by integrating integrating means by adding foreign gene with their genome by adding foreign genes with their genome genome means hap haploid set of chromosomes in a gamete or microorganism or in each cell of multicellular organism inside the cells of all microorganisms we can say all cells each and every cells of microorganism genome is present genome means a haploid set of chromosomes then we can say that it is present in the gamete haploid set of chromosomes in the gamete we can say male gamete as well as female gamete it is present even we can say that inside the micro organisms so inside the micro organisms inside each and every cells of multicellular organisms even we can say that haploid set of chromosomes in the gamete now here because of the help of this genome so here what is saying by adding foreign gene into the genes of the multicellular organism we can say or we can say cells of all types of cells of micro uh, multicellular organism or we can say haploid set of gamete we can say or we can say inside the micro organisms we can say now as a result of genetically modified crops we can say that different types of plants or different types of crops produced so here we can say that genetically modified crops means what just they are adding foreign gene into their genome genome means a haploid set of chromosomes we can say haploid set of chromosomes are present in each and every cells of multicellular organisms then even uh, microorganisms as well as we can say gametes now here uh, bt cotton as well as bt brinjal seed here what is doing bt cotton in that a cotton plants are there this bt cotton plants leaves are eating by a type of worm that is known as a ball worm ball worm now because of the attack of ball worm this cotton plants are getting destroyed for protecting the cotton plant from ball worm on this cotton plant bt cotton plant they are integrating a kind of gene that gene is producing 
from a kind of bacteria. That bacteria is known as Bacillus thuringo thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis. Name of the bacteria. From that gene they are collecting. Then they are adding with the genes of a Bt cotton plant as well as Bt brinjal plant. As a result of it, cotton plants leaves as well as brinjal plants leaves. Inside that, a toxin is producing, a poison is producing. When the worms will eat the leaves of cotton plant as well as brinjal plant, their alimentary canal will get destroyed. As a result of it, the worms will die. As a result of it, we can say that Bt cotton plant as well as Bt brinjal plant getting protection. So, for adding a foreign gene, we are taking the gene from a bacteria in both the plants. We can say that gene from bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis Bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis From that genes collecting afterwards integrating with the Bt cotton plant as well as Bt brinjal plant As a result of it toxin is producing in case of cotton plant their leaves as well as their bowls. Bowls means cotton bowls. On them poison is producing. When the ball worm eat the leaves of cotton plant, they die. Why? Because the toxin which is producing in the leaves of cotton or even we can say in case of brinjal plant, their leaves having poison when these worms eat the leaves of Bt cotton plant as well as brinjal plant, their alimentary canal is destroyed or destroys. As a result of it, they die. As a result of it, we can say Bt cotton plant as well as brinjal, Bt brinjal plant getting protection. Now, here we can say that other Genetically modified crop, one thing we said is Bt cotton plant as well as Bt brinjal plant. Now, other crop that is made genetically modified, that one is golden rice. Golden rice, a normal variety is there, that is having a type of vitamin, that vitamin is known as vitamin A or we can say as beta carotene vitamin. Now, so, in case of a kind of a gene, we can say a gene which is having the capacity to produce vitamin A or we can say as beta carotene vitamin. That gene is integrating with the golden rice crop. What is happening? Normal golden rice crop. So, that crop is having how much quantities of beta carotene compared to that a new variety which is developed in the year 2005 which is having or we can say that in them injected or we can say that integrated injected means just integrated added we can say which one the gene which is having the capacity to produce vitamin A or beta carotene. The gene which is having the capacity to produce vitamin A or beta carotene that is added with the golden rice crop. As a result of it, the normal golden rice crop producing how much quantities of beta carotene? It's 23 times more beta carotene is able to produce the golden rice crop which is developed in the year 2005. In that, they added the gene which is having the capacity to produce vitamin A. As a result of it, we can say that this 
2005 developed golden rice plant is having the capacity to produce 23 times more than the normal golden rice plant which is producing beta carotene. Now, again we can see that genetically modified crops having the capacity to become, we can say, herbicide tolerant plants. Herbicide tolerant plants. Herbicide means what? Like insecticide. Herbicide is a medicine which can destroy herbs, grasses which are growing in the field. For killing that, if we are spraying the herbicide, medicine, only the grass will die. At the same time, rice crop or we can say wheat crop, they all will get protection. They won't get any problem. Only the herbs will die. At the same time, we are spraying the herbicide in the field of rice or we can say in the field of wheat. Even then, wheat crop, rice crop, such crops will get protection. But at the same time, grasses will die because of spraying herbicide. So we can say that rice crops, wheat crops all getting resistance power because of the production of genetically modified crops. Now, here we can say tolerating herbicide tolerant plants can be able to produce it. Herbicide spraying, so normally herbicide is a poison even then uh, such a plants won't get any problem. Now, because of that, what are the advantages of making such a type of crops? Genetically modified crops we studied here. Bt cotton, Bt brinjal, golden rice which is developed in the year 2005. Then herbicide tolerant plants. These all plants production having some advantages. What are the advantages? We will get high yielding varieties of crops. One thing. So much large quantities of crops or grains we can be able to produce. Second thing we can say that they have the capacity to resist diseases. Then we can say alkalinity which is there in the soil. Even if alkaline soil will be there then also these plants have no problem they grow very nicely. Then other thing even if weeds are there it is not going to affect the genetically modified crops. Weeds means grasses. Then other thing we can say that even they can be able to withstand such a cold climate will be there then also these plants are not going to get any problem. Even if there is a drought situation. Drought situation means a dryness we can say very hot situation water is not there. Even such a situation this genetically modified crops can withstand. They are getting resistance power. They grow well. Then even we can say they produce high yield, high production of crops we can say. Because of the use of biofertilizers, nitrogen fixation as well as phosphate solubilization of plants improved. So biofertilizers nowadays instead of chemical fertilizers started to use. As a result of it, advantage is getting to the plants. What is that? First one, their nitrogen fixation ability is increased. Second thing, phosphate solubilization capacity, that also increased. Now, here we are having different types of bacteria as well as a plant which we are using as biofertilizers. Here, Rhizobium, Acetobacter, Nostoc and Anabina. These are the different types of bacteria used as biofertilizers. Then one type of plant is there, that plant is known as Acella. This plant also having the capacity to supply or give nitrogen or help the plants to supply nitrogen to their nodules. So we can say that nitrogen fixing ability of the plants improved. Even we can say that Phosphate solubilization ability of the plants are increasing because of the increase in the number of or because of the addition of 
റൈസോബിയം അസറ്റോബാക്ടർ നൊസ്റ്റോക്ക് ആൻഡ് അനാബിന ബാക്ടീരിയ ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് പ്ലാന്റ് ലൈക്ക് അസല്ല ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദീസ് ഓൾ ബാക്ടീരിയ ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് പ്ലാന്റ് വി ക്യാൻ സേ ആസ് ബയോ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് സോ ഹിയർ നൗ നവ ഡേസ് പീപ്പിൾ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടു യൂസ് ബയോ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് ഇൻസ്റ്റഡ് ഓഫ് കെമിക്കൽ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് നൗ ബയോ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് ഹാവ് നോ നെഗറ്റീവ് ഇഫക്ട് കെമിക്കൽ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് ഹാവ് നെഗറ്റീവ് ഇഫക്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫാർമേഴ്സ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടു യൂസ് ബയോ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് ആസ് ദ യൂസ് ഓഫ് ബയോ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദ കപ്പാസിറ്റി ടു ഇംപ്രൂവ് ദയർ നൈട്രജൻ ഫിക്സിംഗ് എബിലിറ്റി ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് സോലുബിലൈസേഷൻ എബിലിറ്റി വാട്ട് ഈസ് അനിമൽ ഹസ്ബൻഡറി അനിമൽ ഹസ്ബൻഡറി മീൻസ് റയറിംഗ് ഓഫ് അനിമൽസ് ഓർ ഗ്രോയിങ് ഓഫ് അനിമൽസ് ഫോർ മിൽക്ക് മീറ്റ് ദെൻ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ വൂൾ ഈവൺ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ ഡൂയിങ് ഹാർഡ് വർക്ക് സോ ഹിയർ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ബയോടെക്നോളജി അനിമൽ ഹസ്ബൻഡറി ഹാസ് ടു മെത്തേഡ്സ് വി ക്യാൻ സേ ടു മെയിൻ മെത്തേഡ്സ് ഓഫ് അനിമൽ ഹസ്ബൻഡറി ദർ ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ ഇൻസെമിനേഷൻ ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് എംബ്രിയോ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ടു മെയിൻ മെത്തേഡ്സ് ഓഫ് അനിമൽ ഹസ്ബൻഡറി ആർ വൺ ഈസ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ ഇൻസെമിനേഷൻ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ എംബ്രിയോ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഹിയർ നൗ ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ ഇൻസെമിനേഷൻ മീൻസ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യലി ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് സെമൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ഫീമെയിൽ അനിമൽ സെക്കൻഡ് തിങ് എംബ്രിയോ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ again we can say that transferring of or introduction of embryo into the female animal now here as a result of artificial insemination as well as embryo transfer we can say that quality as well as quantity of the products can be improved even we can say that the strength of the animals can be improved for doing hard work so here now we can say that the quantity as well as quality of things like milk wool meat etc can be improved even we can say that here animals with the more strength can be improved or can be formed for doing hard work biotechnology has an important role in the human health here we can say that diagnosis as well as treatment are the important factors of human health now because of the help of biotechnology we can say that diagnosis of the disease is happening before the onset of the diseases or before showing the symptoms of the diseases for example diabetes dengue then like that way various types of diseases now in case of diabetes the person will suffer because of the less production of insulin in that person's pancreas such people insulin injections need to do before this in- insulin used to collect from the pancreas of the horses but nowadays because of biotechnology insulin production is happening because of the help of a type of bacteria for that the gene which is producing insulin need to insert in the g gene in the genome of the bacteria as a result of it the bacteria can be able to produce insulin in its body so for the production of insulin in, in from the human body the insulin producing gene needs to collect and insert in the body of or in the genome of bacteria as a result of it the bacteria can be able to produce insulin so as a result of it the needy people 
we can inject and give insulin long before we were taking insulin from the pancreas of the horses but now its necessity is not there why because of the help of biotechnology we are having the capacity to produce insulin with the help of bacteria even vaccines as well as antibiotics are also produced with the help of biotechnology what are vaccines vaccines are antigens antigens vaccines are antigens antigens means a foreign body we can say foreign body which are injecting into the body of the person who is suffering from a diseases so here we can say that these vaccines used to make from the pathogens from traditionally we can say from long time on, before onwards people used to make the antigens or vaccines with the help of pathogens now from that pathogens they used to make the vaccine either by killing completely or we can say that killing them partially then they used to inject that vaccine into the body of the people but due to the use of such vaccine that means the vaccine producing from the pathogens pathogens means disease producing or disease causing germs we can say after killing them or partially killing them then that vaccine used to cause diseases to the people for curing the disease used to inject the people with the vaccine producing from the pathogens either by killing them or partially killing them but because of giving such vaccine some people used to get diseases so when giving the vaccine with the help of pathogens after killing them or partially killing them temporarily or we can say permanently people used to get cure from the disease but some people were getting affected again they used to get the disease as a alternative like scientists because of avoiding such a problem scientists started to produce vaccine in the lab by using gene collecting from the pathogen as a result of it we can say that safe condition of vaccine production occurred nowadays by using the protein as antigen vaccines are making as a result of it people are getting immunity against various diseases now biotechnically making antigens or antibodies are thermostable vaccines as a result of it they can remain a long time without getting destroyed for example polio vaccine as well as hepatic hepatitis vaccine we can see polio vaccine as well as hepatitis vaccine we are making with the help of antigen or vaccine produced from the proteins so we can say that it has or it is a more safer vaccine we can say because of that again disease getting chance is not there plus the vaccines man made vaccine we can say or the vaccines 
मेड बायोटेक्निकली दैट इज हैविंग थर्मो स्टेबिलिटी एस ए रिजल्ट ऑफ इट लॉन्ग टाइम प्रिसर्विंग नो प्रॉब्लम विल बी देयर सच ए वैक्सीन आर पोलियो वैक्सीन एस वेल एस हिपैटिटिस वैक्सीन एडिबल वैक्सीन एडिबल वैक्सीन मीन्स ईटबल वैक्सीन नव वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस फॉर मेकिंग एडिबल वैक्सीन हियर वी हेव वन एक्सापि ऑफ एडिबल वैक्सीन दैट ईस ट्रांसजेनिक पोटेटो दीज ट्रांसजेनिक पोटेटो वि शुड ईट रो एस ए रिसलट ऑफ इट वि विल गेट immunity against cholera this cholera is causing germ that is known as vibrio cholerae and there is one more type of germ its name is escherichia coli this escherichia coli cause other type of disease from that disease also we get cure when we eat transgenic potatoes raw treatment biotechnology is useful for the production of hormones like insulin somatotropin and blood clotting factors so here now biotechnology is helping for the production of various hormones which are acting like medicines we can see here few examples are given that is insulin somatotropin and blood clotting factors so they help to cure different types of diseases so with the help of biotechnology various types of hormones we can produce they act like medicines they are insulin somatotropin and blood clotting factors interferon interferon is a group of small sized proteins which is used for the treatment of viral diseases interferon is used is produced in the blood nowadays with the help of transgenic escherichia coli or e coli interferon is making it is again a biotechnological process gene therapy gene therapy to treat genetic disorders which is getting to the somatic cells is possible now because of biotechnology here one disease is known as phylloketonuria phylloketonuria is a genetic disorder which is getting to the somatic cells somatic cells means body cells somatic cells means body cells now here we can say that leaving sperm as well as ovum remaining all cells we can say as somatic cells now the disorder the genetic disorder which is getting to the somatic cells can be treated with the help of gene therapy now here phylloketonuria that is causing to the people because of genetic disorder is getting to the hepatocytes or we can say liver cells hepatocytes or we can say as liver cells this disease 
can be cured. This disease is getting to the somatic cells. It can be cured with the help of gene therapy. Now, the phyloketonuria, a genetic disorder which is getting to the somatic cell. So, for treating that, gene therapy is using. That gene therapy is known as somatic cell gene therapy. Somatic cell gene therapy. Somatic cell gene therapy is used for curing phyloketonuria, a kind of genetic disorder getting to the somatic cells. Cloning. What is meant by cloning? Cloning is the production of replica. Replica or we can say as duplicate form of or we can say copy of cells or we can say organs or we can say organism. So cloning means what? Cloning is the replica, is the production of, cloning is the production of a replica of any cell, any organ or any organism. There are two types of cloning. One is known as reproductive cloning. Other one is known as therapeutic cloning. In, thera in reproductive cloning, fusion of nucleus of the somatic cell with the enucleated ovum. Enucleated ovum means inside the nucle inside the ovum there will be nucleus. So with that a fusion will take place. That is known as a repro reproductive cloning. Reproductive cloning means a fusion of nucleus of a somatic cell with the enucleated ovum. Now therapeutic cloning means production of stem cells. How it is taking place? With the help of fusion of fusion or we can say union of somatic cell with the enucleated ovum. Now as a result of cloning we can say that different types of genes can be able to produce. As a result of the production of genes their duplicate forms can be able to produce. Then as a result of the production of genes, these genes can be helped for gene therapy. As well as we can say that for curing different types of diseases or we can say some other purposes it can use. Even we can say that for controlling some hereditary diseases we can use the method of cloning industrial products or white technology because of biotechnology nowadays less expensive products or chemicals started to produce for example alcohol which is producing from molasses this molasses is the waste product which is producing in the sugar factory as a result of it Alcohol, it is a chemical which is producing with less expense. This is an example of industrial product or white technology. Environment and biotechnology. Because of the help of biotechnology, so much problems facing due to sewage that can be solved because of the help of microorganisms the sewage which is containing so much organic matter can be oxidized before putting into the water bodies if directly add sewage into the water 
they for their oxidation or for their decomposition so much oxygen is utilized but because of biotechnology before adding sewage into the water bodies oxidizing process can be done with the help of microorganisms then putting into the water bodies as a result of it the level of oxygen in the water maintained even microbes can be used for the production of compost a kind of manure we can see other thing we can say that bio remediation bio pesticides bio fertilizers bio sensors etc are different types of bio technical methods what is meant by bio remediation bio remediation is the absorption or destruction of toxic substances from the pollutants with the help of microbes or different types of plants so what is meant by bio remediation bio remediation is the process of absorption or destruction of toxic substances which are present in the pollutants with the help of microbes or plants if plants are used for bio remediation then it is known as phyto remediation phyto remediation phyto remediation if plants are helping for absorbing or destroying toxins which are present in the pollutants then it is known as phyto remediation here few examples are there pseudomonas bacteria help to absorb hydrocarbon as well as oil pollutants from water as well as soil sunflower plant help to absorb uranium as well as arsenic from the soil a kind of fern plant terris vitata help to absorb arsenic from the soil food technology food materials like bread wine then cheese beer yogurt vinegar all these food items are the products which are produced with the help of biotechnology even we can say that these are the oldest ones or oldest food milk products which are produced as a result of biotechnology like fingerprint dna of each and every person is unique or different as a result of it identification of any person with the help of dna is possible this is known as dna fingerprinting with the help of dna fingerprinting identification of father of any child identification of criminals even we can say that this fingerprinting is used in forensic sciences forensic sciences means court of law 